So I, I guess I've always been interested in art because my dad was an artist and uh, he started a mural company when I was probably 10 years old and so every summer I would kind of go work with him and learn the tricks of the trade and then I went off to un the University of South Dakota to get an art degree and I you know realized that while I was there that I really wanted to be more involved with the community and with museums and public art spaces and public art programs and the small town of Vermilion, South Dakota didn't really have that. So I transferred back to UNO and I got an internship with the Bemis and I did some other volunteer projects around town and as I was working back at UNO I ended up getting an art history degree but throughout that whole time I started working with my dad again and I really fell in love with the medium all over again or even for the first time because you know I realized that I just can't work small. I just can't do it. It drives me crazy and I love the big scale and just the way my brain is wired. So after I graduated from UNO, I applied to be an apprentice, a mural apprentice, at uh, with the Mid-America Arts Alliance with Dave Lowenstein in Hastings, Nebraska. And that's where I learned the community build process. And so now my whole life's passion is to do <laughs> community built um, murals in places all around. I'm working on a community built mural in Murdoch and everyone in town is helping design the mural. They're all going to help paint it. They all helped raise the money. It's just, it's really great to be, you know, not to just be my own voice up on the wall. I don't, I don't want to do that and I want to help lift up everybody else's voice so that they can have something in, in their public realm that's theirs. So when we were first approached about the mural, we all kind of had different ideas of where to go with the project, and we couldn't really seem to all get on the same page. Mike Jerome wanted to do more graphic style, and I wanted to do something a little bit more modern, and uh, my dad Richard Harrison wanted to do something a little, a little different. So instead of trying to make one cohesive design all together, we decided to go our separate ways and uh, come to Urban Village, the commission uh, who commissioned the project, with three different ideas for the mural on 26th and Harney. The people at Urban Village, Jerry Reimer and his uh, cohorts, really liked the stained glass image, and it's really beautiful, it really is, so uh, we were all excited to do that. And it's a new method that we've never used before, so um, what we ended up deciding to do is we drew out all the buildings that we were going to do um, on paper to scale, one to one scale, and we pounced holes in them and then we put them up on the wall and we push chalk dust through those holes and then we uh, used tape to line out those lines that we trace up and we draw out the buildings and then we spray over that with airless sprayers and airbrushes and some spray paint and then when that when we have it just the way we like it, we take off all the tape, and it's a beautiful stained glass window. So, uh, <laughs> so this project is going to be at 26th and Harney, and if you're driving east on Harney, you'll see it as you come over the hill. And it will be done by June 15th. That's our goal, maybe earlier. And my name is Rebecca Van Ornum, and that's all I have for the moment.